Hello Mech Warrior fans, this is Shinjoy, aka Go Tiger in the Mech Warrior Online Universe, bringing you a rundown of the light mechs. Now the light mechs range currently from 25 to 35 tons. They are the Commando, Spider, Jenner, and Raven. These mechs can reach extremely fast speeds, 137 kilometers per hour, without any type of additional speed tweaks from the pilot tree. They generally carry a uh, small to medium amount of armaments, and they are used as a scout harasser role. Keep that in mind. These mechs are not made to stand in front and fight something. They are made to continuously move. If you stop in a light mech, consider yourself dead at that point in time. You never want to stop. You constantly want to keep moving. Now you notice in this video a couple of times I do stop and it is when I am behind a mech to be able to concentrate damage on that mech when you do that you have to make sure that there are no other enemies around that can see you because if they can see you they will pop you in a heartbeat and your game will be over now fighting in a light mech is fast and furious I equate it to dog fighting you have to be constantly aware of your surroundings the terrain what your teammates are doing, what the enemy's doing. You have to have one eye on the top of the screen of your target and second eye on the mini map at all times. Something that will greatly help you if you're playing a light mech is seismic sensor and 360 target retention. Seismic sensor, even with the nerf that is going in today to its range for a light mech pilot, is invaluable. <laughs> it will be Oh god, the the amount that it gives you as far as situation awareness is insane. Because as a light pilot, there are two ways that you're going to fight other mechs when you fight them. You're either going to be extremely close like I am now, or you're going to be a long range sniper harasser. Me personally, I prefer extremely close. That's the way that I play. I've tried the long range sniper harasser with an ERPPC or a large laser. It's not my style. I like to get in and mix it up. Now your priorities as a light mech pilot is number one, LRM boats. Get to their LRM boats in the backfield, the enemy's LRM boats in the backfield. You want to harass them. You want to keep them from firing on your own teammates. Priority number two is enemy light mechs. When you encounter them, you want to get on them and stay on them. Keep them from harassing your own team or capping your own base. Priority number three, finding out where the enemy is. Generally, this is only at the beginning of the match. You'll want to move out away like I did in this match. Move out away from your heavies, assaults, and mediums. Go ahead and try and figure out where the other team is and let your team know. And then the last priority is capping a base or capturing a point now in conquest which this mode is that capturing a base or capturing a point moves up in the hierarchy moves up in priorities since that's one of the main purposes of this game and it's one game mode that light mechs really shine in because they can be extremely helpful to the team by capping other points and such like that when I'm playing a light mech though I don't play to cap points. I play to take out other mechs. And that's what you want to do. Now, something you got to realize about the light mechs is they don't have a lot of armor. So what I recommend doing, you want to fit endo steel and an XL engine in your light mechs. Just do it. That'll free up a lot of tonnage for you to go to max armor for you to add more or bigger weapons onto your mech, for you to add ECM capability, BAP if you have streak missiles, to add TAG if you're looking to support LRM boats. I also recommend if you have the extra crit spaces going ahead and take ferro fibers to get some more tonnage. Tonnage is always good for a light mech because it is so so limited and with that tonnage you want to like I said before, max out your armor, max out your engine, your XL engine, max out your weaponry, max out your heat sinks, max out your jump jets. Now, the Commando is can't have jump jets, and most variants of the Raven cannot have jump jets. Pretty much 
every spider variant and every gender variant can have jump jets. Take those jump jets. They add a lot of maneuverability for you to move, do jump 360 turns, go over the ter terrain, go around terrain, juke your opponents to keep them from hitting you. They are quintessential to piloting a light mech and will increase your survivability a thousandfold if used correctly. Now, I'm rusty as a light pilot. I haven't piloted light mech since closed beta. I believe this is only like my 12th match piloting a light mech, essentially this spider. So I am very, very rusty. But as you can see, I'm moving around, I'm using the terrain, I'm juking my targets. Now, I do switch targets quite often. That's something that you can do a lot easier as a light pilot than you can as a heavier assault is switching targets. What that's going to do is cause those targets to hopefully take attention off of your mechs, your teammates, and switch on trying to hit you for a couple of seconds. That gives your teammates a breather from taking damage, and it also distracts that enemy to keep them from being able to know what's going on. It kind of disrupts their situation awareness. Now here at the end we have what amounts to basically light on light battle. We've got three lights and I think it's a victor and assault versus me and my battle bro buddy and a Jenner. We're trying to take these guys down. We do manage to take down the victor and manage to take out the cicada. Cicada's technically a heavy mech but it might as well be a light. I mean, it, it handles like a light. I end up getting laid a little bit later on, and that kind of ruins our chances at winning the battle. But it was a fun fight, extremely fun fight. Uh, props to all those guys who were in it, fighting to the end. It was a lot of fun. Something else with the light mechs. Each one of them have a quirk. The spider has a lot of jump jets. Oh my god, it can jump so much so far it's pretty ridiculous it also has extremely good maneuverability as far as agility and coupled with its speed goes <laughs> the variant that I'm carrying can also carry ECM which is pretty optimal for being a scout mech especially if you're going to be supporting Ella rim boats with attack that keeps other people from being able to target you unless they're within roughly uh, 150 to 180 meters. They have to get that close to you before they can actually target you. Otherwise, they, you don't show up as a, with a little triangle above your head. The commando is known as kind of an SRM boat. Most of its variants have a lot of missile slots for you to fit SRMs in. The commando is kind of a, it's really a hit and run. It's good for harassing larger mechs. It's kind of difficult now with the way seismic sensors are to where they can pick you up from 400 meters out, you know. But it's it's pretty good. Do not put LRMs on a commando. You don't have the weight to be able to put a lot of ammo on it. So what you'll end up doing, you'll run out of ammo really soon in the match and then you'll be completely useless to your team. Commando works good with large lasers and SRMs or streaks if you want to hunt other light mechs. If you're looking to harass heavy mechs, uh, some SRM4s, SRM6s on there give a huge punch when you can get behind them. That really tends to piss off the heavy mechs. Now, the Jenner is a quintessential scout killer. It is made for killing other scouts. I like the variants that have the two um, missile hard points on it because you can put two streaks on there uh, fit a bat to get through ECM Target and then acquired. fill out the rest of the spots with medium lasers or medium pulse lasers everything else heat sinks engine and armor Jenners are deadly in the right hands all light mechs are deadly in the right hands but Jenners especially are deadly in the right hands they, none of the Jenner variants can fit ECM which would just make them a so overpowered it'd be ridiculous if they could. Now, the Raven variants have a variety of weapon hardpoints on them. Uh, energy missile and ballistic. One of the Raven variants can fit an ECM. The Raven tends to go a little bit slower 
than the other light mechs. So that's something to take into account. But it can pack a lot of firepower on it, especially the one with the ballistic. It can pack a lot of firepower in the form of a AC-20 or a Gauss. Um, the Gauss is ideal for being a long-range harasser and sniper because that's a huge punch that it can have. A lot of Ravens tend to take more of a support role, long-range support role with either tag or large lasers. Some of them will fit machine guns to kind of swoop in there at the end to really help out the team with getting crits on internals. It's just a little bit slower playstyle than the than the rest of the light mechs. New target acquired. But whatever light mech you choose, make sure you have fun with it. Don't get discouraged. Uh, some games you might do outstanding with like 400, 500 damage. Other games you might only get, you know, 100, 200 damage. It, yeah, it takes a while to get used to moving that fast and get used to play style to get. It, it's totally different from playing any other mech. So don't get discouraged if you try out the light mech play style. Now the commando that is on the trial max currently has, I believe, uh, medium laser SRM4, SRM6. It's got decent heat efficiency at 1.26. It's got a fairly slow speed for a light mech at 97 kph. But if you're looking to try out the light mech play style, it's decent for doing that and getting in there. Just be aware that you're going to have to get in close to the big heavy mech. So what I recommend doing is supporting your assaults and heavies, staying behind them, uh, taking pe peekaboo shots, you know, uh, and try and keep other light mechs off your heavy and assaults. That would be the main way that I would play that mech. But I hope that this was able to help y'all out, and I shall see y'all on the battlefield. Go Tiger, signing off.